hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am bringing you a herb infused spray that i plan to use for my hair for shine and also to reduce hair fall so yeah let's get right into it so what i've got today is i have got some bay leaves which i got from my mother-in-law's garden because she's got the real plant which is amazing i got two fresh stalks and then dried them for about three weeks so i'm going to use all these because i want it to be very very strong i am then going to follow up with hibiscus powder and then some fenugreek powder as well as amla powder and then some henna I got all these from the Shea Butter Cottage. I'll put the details below in my description, but all their stuff are really authentic. So you know that whatever you're getting from there is the real deal. So I've gone and washed my bay leaves. You can also use the ones bought from store, but I use these to cook. So that's why I got these from the garden. So I'm going to put all of this in here so here's the fenugreek i've measured out a tablespoon so that's two so two tablespoons of fenugreek i'm going to also use about a tablespoon of the amla so then we've got the henna powder and i'm going to use a teaspoon of that as well because i don't want my hair to be coated too much no i mean a tablespoon of henna and then lastly we've got the hibiscus so i'm going to use a tablespoon of hibiscus so i have boiled my water so i'm just going to put it on like so i didn't measure this water but i would assume maybe a cup and a half i'm then going to stir it oh they're stuck on the leaves I might add some some more water actually because I think this is going to be very potent so I added more water but I didn't realize that my camera was not filming so I used this cup and measured out two cups and then I realized that three cups of this makes the total that I poured out of the kettle first so now in here I've got a total of five cups but that's because of the amount of bay leaves that I have and also for the other herbs. So I didn't want it to be too um, concentrated. I have gone ahead and infused some green tea, which I am going to add to it. I'll add this one as well okay now we have a lot I'm going to go ahead and remove all the bay leaves before I strain okay so I'm gonna put all the bay leaves in here but honestly it smells amazing and it just smells like like a wintry berry tea <laughs> which is lovely so yeah i can't wait 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 to try this and to put this in my hair because i know it's going to be really really good
okay so i think we've got most of the leaves out so that's fine i may use these again i'm not sure <laughs> So I'm going to pour it into this glass jar or whatever it is and then I'm using this it's doubled again and then I'm gonna tie it and then slowly pour so here we are <laughs> my camera died so I couldn't show you but I had to sieve this twice just to make sure that I got all the bits of the fenugreek out because fenugreek when wet is really really sticky and I didn't want any of that in my hair so it's not fully free of fenugreek but it's better than before so I'm just going to add a few essential oils um, I'm going to add peppermint And then I'm going to add some vitamin E oil as well. I'm just going to put some into my spray bottle and whatever's left over is gonna um, be kept in the fridge so that I can use later so I'm just going to use this as an everyday spritz so that's that done So here we are, this is my bay leaf, fenugreek and hibiscus leave-in um, spray and I really cannot wait to use it. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe and I'm going to have to do another video to show you how I use it.